face is there. Alright. That would look better, babe. That was looking. We can do this on post. We can fix it on post. <clears throat> I think I think I'll put a shot like I can fix it on post. Because I'm the president. Hmm? I think the thing was we can fix it or something like that. Okay. Well. Let's Hey yo, what's up everybody? Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I wanna say thank you to everybody who's subscribing. You guys are really amazing. Thank you for um what do you call this? For all your comments, by the way. You guys are super amazing and for all your suggestions. And some who have been getting into our DMs. Yeah. You're also amazing. So without any further ado, today we're gonna to do another reaction video. And uh, today we're gonna to do Grounds warning to Johnny Depp. What do you think they're gonna talk about? Johnny Depp, the trial, what's going what went on with him? Because this is after the trial now. Alright, let's get it then. There's a new brand on the scene called Aleph. They make 100% halal raw cat food. There are countless health benefits to this new raw diet. Check oh, them out on Instagram at alif.uk. They do monthly mm -hmm. subscription boxes and you can get 10% discount on their two-week trial box with my code ALI10. Check them out now and let your cat enjoy some nice food. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters and dear friends. Johnny Depp, he said something which I was like, wow. If he said this in a bit of a tweet way, then it's done. It's actually a major, it's a haram. It's really haram. He said the following. You start to slowly realize that you are in a relationship with your mother, in a sense. Okay. So, guys, so before I start, obviously, guys, as you guys know, with Muslim Aid, I'm trying to raise 500,000 mils. Inshallah. We're nearly close to our target. Please, please check the link in the description box below and donate whatever you can, inshallah. Let's get on this video. But he said, basically, that he used to get abuse from his mom when he was young. Physically, be getting beaten up, etc. And at one moment, he says, you know what? I felt like I was married to my mother. You know, um, and I did check with my teachers, etc. It doesn't fall into what is mentioned in Surah Mujadila. Now, in Surah Mujadila, guys, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about a woman who's, um, like what he said, if he was worded like this, it can be haram actually. You know, Islamically, as Muslim men, we are not allowed to say the statement that you are like the back of my mother. Meaning, I see you like my mother. I, I know I don't want ever any relationship with you. This is something really, really serious. So, what Johnny Depp said, if he was tweaked a bit in the right way, like intentions, like if he was a Muslim, this is actually haram to say. And you know what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, there's a whole story about it's about a woman actually, it's very profound, that came to the Prophet and complained about her husband, that she said something, he said something that was really heartbreaking to her. That he, he, he just said something. Like he said, you are like the back of my mother. And that was so hurtful to her. When she came, there was no revelation. And the Prophet peace be upon obviously tried to advise her the best she, he can. And when she left, the revelation came down. And look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the defense of the woman. <clears throat> and similar to what Johnny Depp said, but not exactly. Certainly Allah has heard the speech of the woman who argues, pleading with you, O Muhammad, concerning her husband, and directs her complaint to Allah. And Allah hears your dialogue. Indeed, Allah is all hearing, all seeing. Those who pronounce uh, zihar amongst you to separate from their wives, meaning saying, you are like the back of my mother, they are not your, their mothers. Their mothers are none but those who gave birth to them. And indeed, they are saying an objectionable statement and falsehood. But indeed, Allah is pardoning and forgiving. And those who pronounce, say that, zihar, that you are like the back of my mother from their wives and then wish to go back on what they said so if they said something and they want to now take their wife back for intimacy and whatever it may be Allah says no you cannot do that unless then they must be the thing of a slave before they teach before they touch one another so the man has to free a slave that is the way of admonish, ad, admonish thereby and Allah is aware of what you do so now this man didn't have a slave the woman said look my husband doesn't have a slave to give the next one the next kind of punishment and if he does not have a slave, then fast two consecutive months. That man has to fast two months plus Ramadan, three months for the word that he uttered before they touch one another. And then the woman said, look, my husband's old. If he fasts, he's, he's going to die. And he said, and who is unable? Then if he's unable, then he should be feeding 60 poor people. And then the woman said, he's broke. He doesn't have the money. That Some narrations even say that she ended up paying on his behalf. Yeah, that is for you to believe completely in Allah and his messenger and those are the limits set by Allah and for the disbelievers a painful punishment. So guys, you can see here clearly, subhanAllah, how 
some people accuse you know Muslim man you know apparently I come home I have a big stick and I go to my wife you see that stick I'm gonna beat you with that stick and we treat our wives very badly and you know here's a verse coming to defend a white of a woman and saying why because a, a man hit her punched her slapped her swore at her no just because he said you are like the back of my mother and look at all these free things that's mentioned for you for a man to do as a punishment and I thought what Johnny Depp said kind of related to this. That's all I wanted to say. How beautiful Islam is that it gives the rights to the woman based on what she needs and the rights to a man based on what he needs. So next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you want to uh, watch the full video uh, with me uh, discussing Johnny Depp and Amber's situation of conflict and what the Quran and Sunnah says, check the next video, inshallah. May Allah bless you guys. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What do you think? So what I'm understanding is that what Johnny Depp said doesn't go well with the Quran. What is mentioned in the Quran, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, Alright, I mean... Um, it's alright. But again, um, this is from the Quran perspective. Mm -hmm. And from your perspective? From, an, from my own perspective, let's say... I maybe I haven't read the Quran and I've maybe I want to look at it in the most logical manner. If Johnny just said or what he just said, like I felt like I married my mother. Do you understand? I mean, I mean, in the right sense, doesn't sit well with me. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah, but I can understand if he used it to what do you call this? Uh, to, to, I mean, to like kind of make a point of uh, previous relationship of how it was. Of course, the mother was, was was really abusive. Yeah. yeah, you know, the mother was abusive, and then the the ex was also abusive. You know, mm -hmm. so maybe he was saying that just to, of course, it's justifying, and then you have to be a little bit truthful with what you're saying. Of course, I mean, if people lie. Yeah, I mean... People either way lie. You have to be truthful, but people still lie. So, I mean, uh, realistically, I mean, I would, I would look at that like... It's a bad thing saying that I feel like I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm married to... Like I was married to my mother or something like that, you know? But again, when you look at it in the, in the context of him trying to explain herself in that relationship and whatnot... I mean, you will try to understand where he's coming from. But again, I don't know. It's just something that it's really, you, you, can't, you, you, can't, you can't just resonate with you just like that. You understand? Especially when, 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 when you look at yourself, when you, put your, at, when you put yourself in the context of religion, your own beliefs and, and other cultural beliefs also, you understand? It's totally wrong to say such a thing in front of a, of a crowd you know yeah so i feel like to me i feel it's kind of wrong uh, i'm trying to think because i've been corrected since it's about the dad at the end of the day i'm, I'm thinking this is a child that grew up disliking the character of his mom because he saw his dad going through certain things that's why uh in life you make your own path you make your own path liken your girlfriend your wife to your mom Oh, come on I mean we've got a choice that we can make we're always so easy to blame others he's bringing in his mother why didn't he just say why didn't he just rely on that this is the person that he's met maybe, maybe his actions also triggered what was happening in that thing at the end of the day take accountability yes he mentioned his mother I don't know why I don't I that's what I'm saying. The things that you do with your wife, why should you even compare that wife to your mother? Because I just don't understand. Otherwise, there's some men actually in this world that say, you remind me of my mom and that's a compliment because the mother has done so much for them in their lives. Do you understand? So just say, you take care of me like my mother used to or this like my mother is not an insult at all. But it actually depends in which context this is being used in when it comes um to what he said sorry uh to what he said for me 
that's what I'm standing by. Is there anything else? No. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And this is. You can stop it for me, please.